it is quite scary at some points because it really, really does show you the impact that modern technology could and can have. Hi, it's Reviews with Jules and today I'm going to be counting down my watch list for the top 10 isolation musts. You will learn where they are available, how long they are and what genre they are, as well as a little bit about them. So without further ado, let's get into it. At number 10 is Russian Doll. Now, as you will see over here, it will tell you where it's available or where you can rent it from, how long it is, whether it's series or length of a film, as well as what genre it is. This series is about Nadia, who is reliving her 36th birthday, bit of a random birthday, over and over and over again because she's stuck in a death loop. Now, she actually figures out that somebody else is also going through a similar death loop at the same time. And throughout the series, she tries to figure out how to get out of it, basically. And what I liked most about this series is Natasha Leo, need I say more? You will know her from American Pie and Orange is the New Black. But I mostly like the concept, considering it's a groundhog day concept and you think it'd be boring they kept thinking of ways to make it more innovative and really engaging so considering the series is like eight episodes long i was engaged throughout the whole season but what i disliked was the song because it is still stuck in my head but i have chosen this as number 10 from my isolation watch list because i feel like we're probably living the same day over and over again at number nine is the shining now, if you don't like horror films, this one might not be for you, but it's about Jack, who is a alcoholic failing writer who takes a job as a caretaker at a hotel, but he starts going a little bit insane when he starts seeing all the spirits of people who have died and lived there. Now, what I liked most about this is that it is a Stephen King adaptation. One that might be familiar to you is It, Carrie, Pet Cemetery, not particularly the reboot, 1922 and Gerald's Game. Now these are all really, really classic ones. So if you liked that, I definitely would recommend The Shining. And I chose it as number nine in my isolation watch list musts because I feel like some of us who are with our family at the moment might be getting a little bit of cabin fever being in the same house. And we probably could go a little bit like Jack and go insane, but really please do not end up like Jack. And if you watch the film, you'll understand what I mean. At number eight is Ingrid Goes West. Now this this film is about all the do's and don'ts of social media and it follows Ingrid who is a social media stalker who befriends Taylor a social media influencer so you can see there's gonna be some problems and of course Ingrid takes it to the extreme now what I love most about this film is that it really is an honest look at social media and the impact it can have on our lives but I didn't really like the end message that it had and the ending particularly it was quite controversial and maybe that was the maker's intention but it didn't really sit well with me so maybe you might like it maybe you don't let me know in the comments if you maybe have seen this film i chose ingrid goes west as my number eight isolation watch list must because it shows the impact that social media can have on our lives and in times like these we tend to be glued to our phones so if you're interested in that type of film then give this one a watch at number seven is Ex Machina. Now, I really like this film. It's a sci-fi option for all you sci-fiers out there. And it's basically about this guy who's a programmer who's asked to be part of an experiment by examining human qualities of AI robots. I kind of put it in a nutshell, but it's a lot, lot more complicated than I'm giving it credit for. I really, really did like the storyline and I felt that there was some really great emotional beats in there. And I've chosen it for my isolation watch list must at number seven, because I feel like we probably all feel a little bit like robots in cages at the moment. So we should definitely be taking the opportunity to do our daily exercise and get out <laughs> for a little bit at least. At number six is Black Mirror. Little bit confusing. They have five seasons but out of those five seasons they have varied episodes and varied episode lengths so one series might have three episodes of 40 minutes and another might have six episodes of 
one hour 30. So it really does vary. And basically Black Mirror focuses on modern technology's impact on society. However, they're all self-contained episodes, which is what I really liked. And basically self-contained episodes mean that the storyline happens within that one episode. It doesn't relate to the episode next or the season next. So you really can dip and dive in whenever and whichever season an episode that you want. However, it is quite scary at some points because it really, really does show you the impact that modern technology could and can have, which is why I chose it as number six on my isolation watch list musts. We have reached the halfway point. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click on this poll just over here and you can vote for what watch list you want to see next time. And without further ado, let's get into our top five. At number five then is Jesse Nelson Odd One Out. Now this documentary feature follows Jesse Nelson, who you might know from the band Little Mix, by uncovering the impacts that social media have on our mental health but more importantly is her personal journey on how she actually got bullied via social media it's really really heartfelt documentary i cried i don't really cry at a lot of things and this documentary is so personal and heartfelt i actually cried at it because it was so emotional it showed you the harmful impacts that social media and bullying can have and that's why i have chosen it in my top five must sees in the isolation watch list at number four is oh what a lovely war it comments on the events of world war one but it is not like any other war film. It has musicals, it's really light-hearted, it has songs that you will sing along to. It is such a poetic and lovely film to watch and the cinematography is absolutely amazing. And I have chosen it as my top four in the isolation watch list musts because it takes the toughest situations and makes light of them. And that's something I think we can definitely learn from. At number three is Friday night dinner. And of course it is about having dinner on a Friday night, but it is with the Jewish family, the Goodmans, and it doesn't always end well. Now, if you want some British sitcom light entertainment, that is so, so funny. You should definitely, definitely check this one out. And I chose it as my top three isolation musts because laughter is the best medicine and I definitely think we all need that now. And I definitely think that you will find some familiarities in it with your family too. At number two is Contagion. Now this might sound a little bit familiar, but it is about a virus that starts in China that creates a worldwide pandemic and the government suggests to stay at home whilst they create a vaccine. Now you see what I mean. So when I was watching it, I was like, if COVID-19 was a film, this would be it. If people like filmmakers were planning on making a film, well, this would be it. It is literally like a documentary, but with an all-star cast. And that is the reason why I chose it as number two on my isolation watch list musts. Act number one is The Simpsons Movie. Now, it is about the toxic levels and global warming rising in Springfield, which is why the town goes into lockdown, but in a dome. It is such a family-friendly, entertaining film. There is so many classic quotes that I still say to this day, and I cannot believe they haven't brought out a sequel. But the reason why I chose it as number one on my isolation watch list musts is because the filmmakers have had predictions in the past like this one which is pretty scary so you never know they might predict what could happen to us so it's definitely worth a watch just for that alone i have put the links to all the trailers of my top 10 in the description below so check that out if one was particularly of interest to you and next week i am going to be reviewing bbc and hulu's normal people so click that alarm bell so you do not miss out on that and in the meantime check out these reviews right over here See ya.